this video, I will be showing you how to create Flappy Bird in Scratch. So let's start. So here are the assets I have. If you want these assets, you can get it from the link in the description or you can make your own sprites. For now, let's hide the pipe sprite. And in the bird sprite, let's do when green flag clicked. I'm going to set the size to 45%. Go to x0, y0. Then to make the bird fall, I'm going to create a new variable called y velocity. And then let's set it to 0, then take a forever loop, change y velocity by minus 1, change y by y velocity. So this just makes the bird fall. Now let's make it fly whenever we click. So let's do when green flag click, forever, if the mouse is down, let's set the y velocity to something like 9, then let's set the direction to 45, and then wait until not mouse down. And then in this script, let's check if direction is less than 90, then turn right, 3 degrees. As you can see, we have gravity and whenever we click, the bird starts flying. Now before we move on to the pipes, let's set our background color to something like blue. And then in the pipe sprite, let's create a new costume. Let's call it big. And then let's just create a large square covering the full canvas. We're doing this so that the pipes can go off screen. What I mean by off screen is that whenever the pipes spawn, they should be beyond the edge of the screen. Now let's go to the code, let's do when green flag click, forever, wait 2 seconds, create clone of myself. And then when I start as a clone, let's show, switch costume to big, go to x290, for now let's just set the y to 0, and after that let's just switch costume to pipes. And then let's repeat until touching edge, change x by minus 3 which means it's going left. Then let's again repeat until x position is less than minus 290. Then before the change x, let's switch costume to big. And after the change x, let's switch costume to pipes. And then after all of this, let's just delete this clone. And as you can see, pipes are spawning. And now to make the pipe spawn at different heights, let's do pick random something like minus 80 to 80. And with that, each pipe spawns at different heights. Also, let's make our bird go to front layer in the beginning. And now whenever the bird touches the pipes, the game should be over. So let's start off making a game over system. So let's create a new variable called game over question mark. And then let's set it to zero in the beginning. And then let's do when green flag clicked forever. Let's check if touching pipes or touching edge. Let's set game over to one. Let's broadcast a new message called game over. And then let's wait until game over is equal to zero. And then in this forever loop, let's just check if game over is equal to zero. Then we'll run all these blocks. We'll do the same thing in this script. We'll check if game over is equal to zero. So in the pipe sprite, we'll spawn only when the game is running. So we'll check if game over is equal to zero Then wait two seconds create clone of myself. And then in this repeat until touching edge, we'll check if game over is equal to zero. And in this repeat until block, we'll put only the change x by minus 3 in the if statement and then put it in between these switch costumes. And now whenever we touch the pipes, the game just stops. So let's just make a game over screen right now. Create new sprite. Let's call this game over. And I'm just going to create a simple game over screen. So here is the game over screen I created. It says game over, click to restart. So in the code, let's do when green flag clicked, hide. And then when I receive game over, let's show, go to front layer, go to x, 0, y, 0. Let's set the ghost effect to something like 100. And then to create a fade effect, let's repeat 10, change ghost effect by minus 10. And then wait until mouse down. Let's set game over to 0. Let's hide and then broadcast play game. So in the bird sprite, let's do when green flag clicked, broadcast play game. And instead of this when green flag clicked, we'll replace it with when I receive play game let's do the same thing to both of these scripts so let's do when i receive play game and even in this script let's check when i receive play game if touching pipes or touching edge and in the pipe sprite let's do when green flag clicked hide and then under this when green flag clicked we'll also hide and we'll replace this when green flag clicked to when i receive play game also in the pipe sprite we'll check when i start as a clone forever if game over is equal to one Let's wait until game over is equal to zero. Then let's just delete this clone. And whenever we hit the pipes, 
game over click to restart and whenever we click it restarts even whenever we fall off the game gets over now let's add a scoring system so first let's create a new variable called score and then let's right click it and then change it to large readout and then make sure to center it and then when i receive play game let's set it to zero and then in the pipe sprite let's do when i start as a clone forever we'll check if the exposition of the bird is greater than the pipes exposition then we'll change score by one and then wait until not exposition of bird is greater than exposition and now whenever we pass the pipes our score increases and that's how to create a flappy bird game in scratch if you like this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe thanks for watching